Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the, one of these SSDs off these eBay listings. Now, I was looking for an SSD because my girlfriend's laptop has a slow hard drive and it really does just need an SSD because it's actually quite a nice laptop. So a video on that should be coming up soon. But I was looking at getting her an SSD. And I searched on eBay and I see these listings with loads of different sorts of like SSDs and everything. So this is one that I bought, 128 gigabyte. Well, I know these are used SSDs, but here it says Lenovo. So I'm guessing that might have just come out of a Lenovo laptop or something. But yeah, it was only £10. I know it's only 120 gigabyte, but I figure, well, that should just be enough. So here it is. Obviously, can't show the other side, but it's from Valley technologies uk limited computer hardware recyclers so yeah i'd imagine they've had a laptop come into them that's like just needs to be thrown away and they've tried to salvage much part out of it so what i am actually going to try and do is see if there's any data on them but i'm guessing there's probably not and i might try um to use data recovery software because i know that's something you can do i watched a uh, ashen's video about like ages ago where he bought like used pc parts from aliexpress and then the hard drive he recovered data from it and it was just random stuff on it so yeah let's have a look at it because i'm not actually 100 percent sure what ssd it is it looked like a samsung one on the listing but who knows let's get into it so i know this is definitely not the best recording angle but i'm gonna see if i can just rip into this no it's all like covered in tape i didn't think i'd be able to so i've got the packaging as well because this is quite a thin envelope so open it up uh so there's a bit of paper wrapped around it. I assume this is like, so I accidentally cut this in half, but it's basically just the order confirmation thing. So yeah, look, it was all in the bottom and I just cut through it. It's got a anti-static bag on it and then some cardboard taped together. So yeah, I suppose that's quite nice to see, anti-static bag. Could you use that for something else actually? So yeah, I don't know if the, oh yeah, it is a Samsung, see. Their Samsung Electronics, but it's not got any like big Samsung branding because I'm assuming this, like it says there, the Novo PN. So I'm guessing it literally just came in a Novo laptop. So yeah, what I am going to try and do is I have this hard drive enclosure which has the laptop in from my nan's laptop that I upgraded the SSD in. So I'm going to take this out, put this SSD into it, and I'll plug it into my PC and we'll see what comes up. So yeah, let's get the SSD and now let's plug it in to the computer. Oh, so it has been reset. It's all unallocated space, so it doesn't really matter. I suppose if you put it in a laptop and then install Windows, you don't need to anyway. Oh, why won't it let me? So I don't actually know why it says that. Oh, initialize disk. So yeah, I suppose now it works. So I'm going to actually find out if I can do data recovery on this. So I'm now trying to recover the data from the drive using this disk draw app thing. It reckons it's found one other file. Because basically it depends how this has been reset. There's a way that deletes it, with everything off it, and then replaces it with other files so that the old ones can't be recovered. Because your files are never really truly deleted until the drive fills up and replaces them with something else. It may says they've been deleted, but you know. But we're going to go through with it anyway. So the app has literally just froze. So search for lost data. So it's it reckon it's found one other file. So one percent complete one file. So you can review the thing and it says WPS WP settings dot that. So it's probably not that interesting. So recovery in progress, so it's trying to find all the files on it. So I'll come back, see if it's done anything. That recovery app only found that one file and it was useless. So yeah, not really need for that. But for the next test, basically I've plugged it into my PC. Um, see, you've got it here. I'm going to go on to Crystal Disk just to have a look at it. And I'm also going to do a disk speed test on it. So let's go to disk, Samsung. So yeah. So you see, health status is good, that's the temperature, shows all things here like how many times it's been powered on, so 98, but I suppose if it's been used on a laptop, that's not too bad actually. But another thing I want to show you guys is Blackmagic 
disk speed test. So select target drive. First I'll do my actual SSD, so I'll go desktop because that's my SSD that's here, the Kingston one. That was like £20, so that was 10 and it's used, so I'm expecting my SSD to be better than that. But, so yeah, let's go. So basically it writes a file onto it and it's writing at about 467 megabits a second, so we'll let it do that. And then it's going to read it at pretty much the same on my SSD. So this app literally just keeps doing the same thing. It basically shows you here like what you can read and write. So the highest they recommend on my PC is oh, that's above 4K, isn't it? Yeah, and it changes each time, obviously. But yeah, it reckons I can do ProRes up to 12K and stuff like that. Now let's do a speed test on the SSD. See, so yeah, I'll select the SSD, start speed test. So it's writing about 130 megabits a second, so that's obviously lower than slower than my SSD. But that's hopefully quicker than the hard drive that's in the laptop already. But then the read is about 507 megabits a second, so the read is actually quicker than my SSD, but the write is slower, which is weird. So you can see here. It could pretty much read H.265 all the way up to 8K uh, and write um, Blackmagic Raw up to 4K, pretty much. But yeah, I think this should be more than good enough for her laptop. But yeah, I will make a separate video of putting the SSD in her laptop. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video about this SSD and I hope you guys come back for the next video. Bye.